Hey guys, so today isn't going to be like in one of the normal reviews. Instead, today we're going to be looking at this, a Razer OLED laptop, specifically its screen. But before we get into this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm a small channel, so every subscriber really helps. If you're really interested in the laptop, I'll link to a full review of it below, but what I'm really interested in is its OLED panel. Supposedly, it's the future of screens, and as my friend recently picked one up, I figured it was worth taking a look at. For those of you who don't know, OLED screens work by individually lighting up each subpixel. This is in contrast to how a traditional LCD works, by either blocking or letting through the light produced by its powerful backlight that is always on. OLED is better, as the LCD cannot completely block the light in some scenes, so dark colors such as blacks end up as more of a dark gray. In general, this is why an OLED screen is better, as well as its faster response time as it can directly turn on and off the power to each pixel. That's how it works, but let's get into how it actually is to use. Now this isn't my first ever use of an OLED panel. I've actually had one on my phone for a couple of years now, but what I was really excited to see was what it was like using for normal desktop activities like editing pictures, video, and gaming on it. This is made by Razer after all. So first off for photo editing, it really does a great job. All the colors are accurate and the blacks are incredibly dark. One note I will make is that there is a bit of bloom, but I think this is more of a screen diffusion issue as theoretically, this should not be happening on an OLED. Nevertheless, it is still an amazing experience, and I see why photo editors would absolutely love this. As for the video editing, I think that's also great. That's the real benefit of panels like this. The colors are almost perfect as long as the display has been calibrated appropriately. Content creators are the ones most likely to benefit from this. However, even to normal people, it really does increase the quality of what they are watching. I do want to put out there that it's not nearly as great as some people make it out to be. Like yes, it is more accurate and the blacks are deeper, but in general it isn't a complete game changer. It's not like moving from a 1080p TV to a 4K one on a massive display. It doesn't redefine the experience. That doesn't mean it's not a good improvement though. I definitely would be happy if my display was OLED. However, it's not worth the enormous cost that it currently goes for, even if you can't find them. OLED TVs are plentiful, but if you look for an OLED monitor, they aren't the same. The reason is burn-in. This is when an image is left on the screen for a long period of time and it ends up leaving an imprint on the panel, even after the panel is supposed to be displaying a different image. This is a major issue for computers, as many parts of your screen remain the same, whether that be the Windows taskbar or the X on the top right of your screen. This is a major issue for gaming as well, as many elements of a game remain stationary on the display. The fast response times are great, but this is a major issue for people who plan on gaming long term on an OLED. The burn-in problem has prevented manufacturers from pushing the technology into the mainstream for desktop use as of right now, and there really isn't a solution. In general, everyone seems to be just waiting for micro-LED displays, which basically do the same thing as OLEDs but do not have the same burn-in issues. That means that this is mostly just a glimpse into what displays will be in a few years, but I still think it's worth checking out, as technology like this always trickles down in one way or another. Thank you guys for watching, and I know that this is a bit different than what we normally do, but I just got this opportunity and I thought it'd be a cool thing to point out. Thank you all for watching, and feel free to support me by liking and subscribing. I'm a small channel, so every subscriber really helps. Thank you again, and feel free to check out some of my other videos if you're interested.